that right there works the torque for your hips, your knees, your ankles. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, April 24th, 2025. What you just saw isn't just a jump, it isn't just a sprint. This is an excellent torque drill you can do, and I call it the chaos cut. Here's what's happening. I'm standing next to a 16 inch log. My body's facing sideways. I hop 180 degrees over the log, land on uneven rocky, pebbly terrain, and instantly cut as if changing direction on a football field and sprint. Then I reverse it. I jump back over, spin the other way, land and cut again. There's no pause, it's instinct, reaction, chaos. Now here's what make this specific drill so good? I'm landing and pushing off on rocks and pebbles. This isn't a gym floor. This is life terrain, unpredictable, unstable, and unforgiving. This forces my ankles, knees, and hips to generate torque in real time. No machine can replicate this. Every cut is a torque explosion. My deep stabilizers are firing. My motor units are working overtime to keep me upright, balanced, and fast. This isn't just muscle, this is neuromuscular control. This is how you preserve movement, coordination, proprioception, and power. The very things most people lose after 40, 50, and 60. Want to keep your youth? Then train the things that age first. Balance, torque, and motor precision. Because this isn't just about looking young, this is about moving young. And this drill does exactly that. It helps you do this. Now let me compare motor units to torque. You begin to lose motor units, fast motor units, around the age of 25. By 71, you lost approximately 40% of all your motor units. By age 75, it rises to 50%. And by age 85, it increases to over 90% of motor units being lost. This big reduction affects the body's ability to generate force and respond quickly, impacting overall movement and stability. Torque, you start losing torque in your early 30s, muscle strength and torque begins its decline with a loss of about 1.5% per year starting at the age of 50. By 80, trunk muscle torque decreases by approximately 60% compared to young people. This decline in torque affects the body's ability to perform explosive movements, maintain balance, and execute quick directional changes. As you can see from the chart on the screen, it clearly shows how both decline with age, how torque begins dropping slightly later, but still steeply, paralleling motor unit loss. Now, let me break down the exercise. Take a look at this breakdown. What you're seeing here is more than just a jump. These red highlighted zones, that's total muscle engagement from the calves to the glutes, core, and shoulders. But what really matters are the arrows. These blue curves represent torque vectors, the actual rotational forces I generate through my body. Every time I jump and spin, I'm activating torque through the hips, knees, and ankles while stabilizing through the core and shoulders. Landing on pebbles and rocks, that adds chaos. My body has to micro adjust instantly, activating small, often ignored stabilizers in the ankles and hips. This isn't just training muscles. This is training how muscles work together under chaos. The more you challenge torque like this, the more you preserve what I call neuromuscular intelligence, the thing that actually makes you move like you're young. And by the way, what you saw here, that's just one of the intermediate exercises from my book. I've developed over 100 drills designed to preserve motor units and movement power from beginner to intermediate to elite. Full breakdowns, layered systems, no machines, just truth, just results. And it's all inside my upcoming book, Beyond the Limit. One more thing I would like to address. I didn't invent jumping. I didn't invent cutting. But I did combine chaos terrain, reactive torque, mid-air rotation, and motor unit preservation, and built an entire longevity protocol around it. That's the difference. Anyone can do a jump. But most don't understand why this movement protects your nervous system, fires your deep stabilizers, and delays motor unit loss. This isn't just a drill. It's part of a system I built from decades of testing, and it's backed by results that speak for themselves. If you've seen something like this, great. But I guarantee you, you've never seen it explained this way and use it as a weapon against aging itself. 
That's the difference between repetition and evolution. You think this is nonsense? Then find me a 61-year-old who can move youthfully like half their age. I'll wait. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon in my next video.